Hello and welcome to another simple ass tutorial where I teach your ass some simple stuff. Today we're going to learn about the paths tool in GIMP. And what you want to do to begin with is open up GIMP, select file. We're going to uh, create a new palette or image. And I'm just going to click OK to use the standard size. This gives me a clean, clear white palette. Then go to your toolbar, select the little calligraphy pen looking deal. That's your paths tool. And to create paths, all you do is click. For every click, it creates a new section or a new line, connects it, and you can sit there and make a path. You're literally just drawing a line by clicking dots. And you can make whatever shape you want. We'll get more into that later. Let's go back to just the simple path of a straight line. So let's go back. We, we, so we selected our path tool. Click once. That gives you your first starting point. Click again, that completes the line. Now to actually draw a line, we're going to go back over to the toolbar and select Stroke Path. It'll give you a pop-up window with some other options. For now, just click on Stroke. And you'll see that it drew a line over your path. And you're saying to yourself, well, the path is still there. All you have to do is change your tool selection to Pencil. And now the path will disappear. Well, if you want the path back, here's your path window. You'll find it under Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then click on Paths. And this will bring up your Paths control box. And then all you have to do is collect, click there for the eye, and you'll see here that your path is shown back, back up. But before you can work on that path again, you do have to go back and select your Path tool again. And then you'll see that I can come in here, I click on this path, and my little anchor points show back up at which time I can manipulate them and draw a different line. And there you go. And then I'll just turn that off, select a different tool, and it's gone. And there's your lines. So I hope you learned something from today's simple ass tutorial. If not, rewind it, watch it again, subscribe, and wait for the next one where we'll go more in depth about paths and what you can do with them.